what's up guys uh welcome back to my channel if it's your first time visiting uh i want to welcome you to my channel and uh, and thank you for uh supporting me um uh, today's topic uh something very important that i think we need to know um when uh, we are roofing uh running a business or as a homeowner a lot of the times um homeowners get confused um on the on the estimate from the insurance company uh, so the insurance company is always going to send first one check which is the actual cost value that's the first check and um, on the second check once you invoice the insurance company uh, the insurance carrier you're gonna recover this depreciation Oh, most of them is, is uh, recoverable and uh, just some policies uh, some customers have non recoverable so that's something you have to to find out um, so these two combined after you invoice them um, get the second check these two make up the real cost value that's uh, that's the the real cost value of the of the uh, total job so if we go on line number one we have tear off haul and dispose of composition shingles and um, it says laminated laminated shingles so that means it's architectural shingles that's the thicker style shingles the uh, they used to call it 30 year now it's a limited lifetime warranty uh, they've just been better in the the, the shingles mm they're allowing for 26.93 squares which that makes makes up almost um 27 squares it's basically 27 squares um they are paying 57.93 for each square to tear off which that totals 1560 and if we look at the acv they're allo they're allowing everything back on the first check because that's for labor for tearing it off and uh, on laminated shingles um, to install them is 25 and almost 26 square basically 26 square at uh, 208 dollars a square now uh, this is from uh, about six months ago maybe I didn't do this job uh, I just have the paperwork from the homeowner that uh, she um, she I guess she she went with someone else but um and there are in um in arkansas uh the insurance prices are lower than other places uh it differs from state to state i know up north uh, uh it might be uh, a better paid so anyways um right here we're getting 5600 uh real cost value and over here um they're allowing 48.22 back on the first check and um they're holding 787 on the depreciation that's uh the time that the material was already used so they're gonna return that once you invoice the insurance company if you're enjoying my video i share with you my buy me a coffee account in case you want to buy me a coffee uh there's different options from one to three to five coffees or you can make your own numbers and it'll take you to finish the process um, you can also help me out by liking and subscribing to this channel hit the bell button so you won't lose any content and i will leave the link in the description so you can take it to my page god bless guys uh, number three we have the roofing felt the roofing felt um 25 squares yeah 70 744 in total they are paying this up front and this one <coughs> on the second check drip edge that's the metal the drip edge that goes uh, all around the house like on the bottom and on the uh, on the gables 280 foot that's 28 pieces at 236 per foot per linear foot that this is what this means rf linear foot um 
real cost value 683 616 ACV and depreciation so uh, for sure we always call them RCV and ACV and depreciation so ridge cap we have 8.83 linear foot and uh, right here I think they're paying a little bit but since I didn't do the job I didn't really uh, had to uh, tell them anything but uh, whenever you see that they are not paying enough you just get pictures or measurements and send them uh, the uh, the proof and they will most of the times they'll they'll just uh, pay the difference that is missing so the real cost value thirty three dollars thirty dollars ACV and depreciation three dollars thirty one cents uh, flashing pipe jack the ones that go around the PVC pipes um, it's four of them they're returning 159 and holding 14 dollars exhaust cap six through eight uh, it's five of them they are paying 368 and 4398 on the second check flashing pipe jack um, display but that's for the electricity uh, it's already open you just uh, clamp it together uh, roof vent, the same thing. The turbine type, that's the round ones. Um, gutters, 144 linear foot for gutters at $8 per foot. 12, 1206, and they're allowing everything. On number 12, it was a shed that was separated from the house. Uh, that's why here it's, uh, it's separated. Um, remove uh, shingles on a steep side 12 12 they pay you 24 dollars for tearing it off and for putting it back on 78 that it um and they're allowing everything uh number 15 three tab uh, uh that shed had three tab shingles so uh two almost three squares 191 per square to put to install it back on and uh the total 449 roofing felt 30 pound uh 33 per per square drip edge is the same thing we already went over it up here uh roofing turbine another turbine um the total 1116 and 99 dollars on the first check so this is when um <clears throat> this is your final ACV that's the first check the first check that you're gonna get back and the depreciation is on the second check to equal the total of 12558 now um, most customers have a thousand dollar deductible so the insurance is gonna send them ten thousand and the rest of the money uh, the thousand is has to come out of the uh, homeowner's pocket so um in total from the insurance is gonna be eleven to fifty eight but since you're gonna invoice the insurance uh, um carrier um 12,000 because that's the total job the homeowner has to come out of their pocket those thousand dollars that's when it gets tricky and uh, you can't really save money because if you invoice the insurance if you do the job for 11,000 and invoice the insurance carrier for 12,000 but you end up getting 11,000 you're committing fraud that's when um, um, a lot of uh, some companies don't know it or homeowners don't know it that is there's no possible way to legally save money you can uh, like live in stuff like drippage but you're not gonna invoice for that money so you're gonna save the homeowner 135 for instance I'll go over it in another video 
Uh, for this one, I just wanted to explain the line items and how, what the meaning, how they work. And um, like I said, um, you can't really uh, save money uh, to the homeowner's pocket. It's impossible. You're going to invoice the insurance carrier for 12000 and they're going to send you back those 12000 So if you... If you do invoicing for twelve thousand, um, you have to do the job for what you're charging, and um, it's actually a felony in the state of Arkansas. It's a felony to do that, and that could end up in four months in jail. So I always tell my customers, I'm like, it's not, uh, it's it's not worth it to go to jail for four months for over a thousand dollars it's not worth my reputation so i usually just leave that alone and I, I let someone else do the fraud but uh it's always better to 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 keep it straight okay guys it's been a pleasure to uh to explain to you guys hopefully you guys didn't uh get confused if if you got confused let me know in the comments and uh and let me know any questions that you have uh because i would like to know uh what I can do better uh, to to bring better information for you guys. God bless, guys. Take care.